Hello, Cherries. Welcome to Live Jerry Cherry. Special Monday, episode 148. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play some rock and roll licks using the caged system. So we'll get right to the lesson, but I want to just give some of my friends here in the chat a little hello here for joining me this morning or this afternoon. It's 12.01 now. Hello, Oz, man. And like usual, I'll put a timestamp in the description that goes right to the lesson, which will be very shortly. I just want to say hello to my man, Oz, man. Give you a round of applause. Hello, Oz, man. Good morning. Normally, we do this on Sundays, but I was in Des Moines, Iowa, playing with a symphony, with actually playing with the ABBA, band SOS, direct from Sweden, the music of ABBA. We played with a symphony. It was very cool. All good here. That's awesome, Oz, man. All right, Scott Olson. Got the guild, S. What you mean by that? Got the guild. You got the guild out? All right, let's go. Nice. I do miss my Starfire 3 a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Were you within the state? Oh, you were within a state of me this past weekend. Oh, so you're by Iowa. Awesome. It's very cool. Alba. Afternoon, Jerry. Welcome home. Met for Long Island. It's happy to have you back. So please describe what a rock and roll is. Well, a rock and roll look, you'll know in just a sec when I start it up. Oh, but thanks for joining. I'll give you a round of applause. Give all a round of applause. <laughs> From the Guild Starfire. Oh, you have a Guild Starfire too. What model? Is it a three or four? Smile. All right. We're smiling. <laughs> Looking for crossroads. What's happening? Let's give you a round of applause. <laughs> so, you know, rock and roll licks are just, um, you know, basically rock and roll licks. If they're similar to blues. But it's kind of a different feel. You know, blues is more of like a shuffle, generally. Blues is kind of like a, you have kind of like a. In, in the example today in the rock and roll I think it's going to be more of a straightforward like a that feel so in the context of this lesson today rock and roll is just straight ahead rock and roll and I do have a backing track here that I created and if you want this it's brand new just email me at info at jerrycherry.com so rock and roll is more like this feel right here just straight ahead. Rock and roll is straight ahead, right in your face, just four to the floor. It's not really a shuffle. It's very similar to the progression in rock and roll from Led Zeppelin. So it's actually almost the same exact progression as rock and roll, just so you know. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, Jeffrey Boyle. Good to see you. All right. So... This progression, you could play the minor pentatonic scale right through this whole thing. It's faster. Yeah, well, there's some, some pretty fast blues 
shuffles too, but um, it's straight ahead. It's pretty fast. And um, <clears throat> the cool thing about this is that the progression is a little bit different too. A lot of blues 12, par 12 bar progressions go from the five chord back to the four. But in here, we stay on the five chord where you have a, a one or an A. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So on the ninth beat, a lot of blues will go back to the, on the 10th beat, 10th bar, go to the four chord, and then the one chord, and then back to the five, but we're not even going back to the five there, we're staying on the one. So in a sense, it's a little bit simpler too, because it's less changes as well. It's got like the faster the better. <laughs> so you can take this and play the, the minor pentatonic scale through this. So, using the cage system, if you play in this position right here, that everybody knows and loves, which is right here, this E shape. Hello, Mike Belchman. Give you a round of applause, my man. Good to see you. Loving the backing track today. Aggressive. Yeah, well, if you want a copy of it, just uh, send me an email. Info at Jerry Cherry. Let me know. If you, if you want a copy, I'll shoot it right over to you. Easy peasy. So, what we have here is this minor pentatonic scale. All right, I'll see you on Saturday for sure at the disco gig, Disco Unlimited. We got this minor pentatonic or the blues shape. Right? You can play that over the whole progression if you want to. It's the very probably the simplest thing you could do. But it's good to know that, that minor pentatonic scale over this E shape. See, it's an A chord, but it looks like an E because you're all familiar with this E chord here, right? You know, it's E chord. You slide it all the way up here. It's now an A chord. But we'll play this pentatonic scale. Right inside there. Like that. So check it out. Play the progression. and roll there <laughs> of course um i did play in a real rock and roll band with chubby checker one of the pioneers of rock and roll and basically it was like playing chuck berry riffs 
all night, you know, because Chuck Berry is the king of rock and roll. He started this whole thing um, a long, long time ago in the 50s. And you want to hear some of this, the best rock and roll playing, put on some old Chuck Berry stuff. And uh, definitely Chuck Berry, Carl Perkins, guys like that for sure. Jerry Lee Lewis, Little Richard. So when I was playing with Chubby Checker, it was all about, okay, play Chuck Berry riffs, <clears throat> Chuck Berry style riffs. So what I did was, over progressions like this, is that I play Chuck Berry riffs. I'd be like... Johnny be good, right? Okay. So that was one of the most famous rock and roll licks. So we got a basically taking the um, the shape right here over the A. You have the fifth. It's always the fifth right below it on the B string, fifth fret. You're taking the G string. 7th fret, bending it up a whole, a whole step, so bend, basically bending the 4th degree to the 5th, just the pentatonic scale. I'm taking this note on the G string, basically utilizing the notes of the pentatonic scale. Then when it goes to the fourth chord, the four chord, the D, I'm already in this position here. So I'm going to play the A shape. Look, it looks like an A, right? Because here's an A chord. Here's an A chord. Slide it up to here. Now it's a D chord. So you have these licks inside here, which is, here's the third degree. And a very famous thing that I would do, well, famous thing that I would do, is I would bend the minor third into the third here. Over this four chord. Because here's your, your arpeggio. The major third, here's the shell. Instead of hitting just the third right off the bat, I'm going to bend into it while I hold on to this note, the A. Here's the fifth degree and the third degree. It's a triad. I'm going to take this, I'm going to go. Over the D chord, because that's what it is. It's a D chord. Back to the A chord. And over the five chord. You could actually play the um, a C shape E chord. So here's a C chord, right? You slide it up to E here. And you have an E. But generally, I would just kind of play, I'd bend this up to an E. Back to the A, right there. So, here's what it sounds like.
got some licks. Got some licks for you today. Hopefully you're enjoying this. If you are, hit that like button. Ring the bell for no subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. All that groovy stuff. And if you want this really cool drive and rock and roll backing track that I created for this video right here, just email me at info at Jerry Cherry and I'll shoot it right over to you. So any questions about this stuff, please let me know. Happy to help any way I can. And what are you drinking today? By the way, I still have my coffee here from this morning. Trying to get pumped up. We're rocking, we're rolling. Normally I go live here on Sundays, but uh, this weekend I was in Des Moines, Iowa with SOS, direct from Sweden, the music of ABBA. You know, Dancing Queen, Mamma Mia, all that good stuff. <laughs> and we played with the symphony orchestra there, and it was pretty unique and amazing. Really, really cool. Great to get out there to uh, to the Midwest and uh, see different places. Love traveling. I love walks on the beach, uh, traveling. <laughs> What's your sign? Um, easy to get carried away with the backing track. I want the backing track. Well, you got it. Just uh, email me to remind me because I'll, I'll forget right after this lesson. Sellout crowd. Um, they say it was a sellout, but I'm not sure if it was completely sold out. It was a very interesting place. If you um, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see that I I post videos from the after sound check. I'll you know show my my sound, my guitars and rig, and I'll show the little bit of the stage and the the audience, the venue, and if you've seen that, you'll see that it's kind of like a bowl. It's like just one big level going up, kind of like the Hollywood Bowl. I think that's what it looked like in the, when the Beatles played the Hollywood Bowl. But uh, so instead of having like a couple of balconies, it was just one long theater with uh, many, many rows, a hundred rows it seems or more, and with no aisleways or anything. <laughs> so I feel like if you had to go to the bathroom or get up or anything, it's very, very difficult. Just sitting in the middle, you know. Are we in tune here today? Or? As close as we can for rock and roll. expression uh, close enough for rock and roll well hey it's perfect <laughs> so you know that's the very simple way of doing this and it, it should be simple now using the cage system you know like I was saying you could play in just a minor pentatonic but um, you know when we switch to, to D here you know we played in D pentatonic as well, or D mixolydian. We went to E. We can play E minor pentatonic. Or E mixolydian. shift this. Thanks, Alba, for enjoying those videos. We could shift this now, so instead of playing an A here on the G position, you know, what if we were up here on the, the A position? Say, or for instance, say, say C. Like, we'll start with C. Here's a C chord, like this. We shift it all the way up here. You have a C chord. So why limit yourself to the positions on the fretboard. You get stuck in this box right here and everyone loves it, including myself. But what if you were up here? And now you're over here and this is all you had to do. This is all you had to, to, to choose from. 
and playing rock and roll, what would you do? I'm not over here. I'm not in my safety zone anymore. Or up here. But I'm right here. Well, play the A minor pentatonic in this position. It would be actually the third position of the minor pentatonic, which is like this. So you can play the whole thing right around here. Let's see what that sounds like, messing around here. See, so you can play A. When it goes to the D, still play A minor pentatonic. You can emphasize the D by hitting it. Pentatonic. It's just another position you could play in right here. Let's try it. It's really, really cool. This is like you got the safety zone. Love it. But then you break out to this area and everything changes. Because now you have different licks. You have the minor pentatonic. But what's cool is when you go to the four chord D, you actually have, if you wanted to, you could play this E shaped D and all your favorite licks are right here in D. Just like all your favorite licks, the safe zone of A was here. Now you have that D up here. Back to the A shape here. Back to the A chord of the C shape. Back to here. And when it goes to the E, you have a different E minor pentatonic if you wanted to. That's the same notes as this. The safe zone. We call it the safe zone. <laughs> e, but we're trying to keep the positions here. It's really the G shape, E. Back to the A. So you do those Hendrix looks if you wanted to over the E chord. You know, you go. I'll emphasize that a little bit more. So, yeah. a little bit more color right there. 
and they're licks that I wouldn't have played. I don't think I've played those licks at all today so far. So with this, I'm familiar with playing those like Hendrixy style licks. But the first thing, most importantly, is that you, f you just play the minor pentatonic here and learn that. Same thing goes for me. Practice what I preach, right? What positions? It's really, it's a third position. So, we're rocking. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Getting some useful information here, some useful blues here, things we can use in our, our playing all the time, or none of the times. <laughs> so it's all about taking these shapes learning all the scales you can in every shape. And um, if you could do that, you'd be on fire, like the Van Halen song, On Fire. Safety Zone. It's like the Kenny Loggins song. That's the Danger Zone. Okay, sorry, my bad. Osman! I'll have to get going. Have a great rest of the week. Jerry, I'll email you for the backing track. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Osman. Very, very cool if you're spending some time here with me. I know it's Monday. You're probably doing some work. You're cheating. The boss is like, where's, uh, where's Osman? He's gotta be, uh, should be doing something. He's watching Jerry chair. <laughs> All right, thanks for spending some time here with me today. We won't go too long today, but uh, we do this because this is what we do every week. We play guitar. We're always striving to get better. Let's see, after C comes A, right? A. There's a very, very cool position you could play down here. Or the same thing up here. Minor pentatonic scale up here is a... rock and roll rhythm goes by you. Instead of playing here in your safe zone, play it up here. So now in this A position, remember before we played the D chord, the four chord, with the A position. Well, we did that lick. Well, it's the same shape. So we could do the same thing over, the, over A in the A chord position, just like this. So that's kind of my go-to lick when I'm playing in this position right here. I take this minor third because it's part of the pentatonic scale. I could bend this minor third up to the A right there. Or do a micro bend. Micro bend is you're not quite bending it up the whole half step. It's kind of a little slight bend up. Instead of going, I'm kind of going. Which really sounds pretty nice in the blues. Because the blues, well, blues are rock and roll. It's kind of an in-between. You could, you could hit a, a definitive major. It's going to sound happy. You could actually hit a minor. Or you could hit both of them if you can't decide which one you want. And just bend it up a little. That's the blues. The blues is somewhere in between. So, you could do this whole pentatonic scale over this whole progression right here.
I'm going ahead and I'm I'm going and changing up some of the uh, the tonality of, of this. You know, I'm breaking out of the pentatonic. When it goes to D. Goes to the D here. You could actually play um, the D shape over that, which is like this. So going back to the A. So you have all those riffs in this shape right here, like a. Over the D, which is kind of my go-to look right here. Check it out, you got this D shape. Back to the A. The D. Or you could play this down here. goes to the D. there in your, your safe zone. Here's your, your five chord now. So these shapes are just kind of moving around. But that's the beauty of it is that now because I'm playing the A here, I'm playing the D chord here, and I'm playing the five chord here. I'm playing my safe zone area riff. Licks that I know that I've been playing all my life. Over the five chord. At first the safe zone was over the one chord. Then, the safe chord was over the four chord when A was here, right? The four chord was D. And now, because the A chord is here, the five chord is an E <laughs> shape. Back to the A. water with the delay, doesn't it? All right, Jeffrey. So cool. Glad you like it. Give a round of applause for that. Oh, cool. Thanks for spending some time here with me today. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this. We go live every Sunday at 12 o'clock. And except today is Monday. So <laughs> I go live every Sunday, except when I don't. But, um, so, but next week, it'll be back to... You know what? I'll break the bad news to you right now. I'm going to have to miss next Monday again. But um, what we could probably do is we'll do it on, I mean, next Sunday again. We'll probably do it on, on Monday again next week. But we'll get to that. We'll cross that uh, bridge when we get to it. And then it's back to Sundays for sure. I see, I see that now. I try not to schedule other things on Sundays, but sometimes it's hard. You know, I, I really try to keep it on Sunday, keep it uh, consistent. Pack of Blues, hello! Give you a round of applause. Yay! Hope you're doing cool. So as you see, I'm mixing up the scales, but there's so many scales, but I'm only trying to focus on just a couple of them. Because generally, you know, when you play the A over the one chord, minor pentatonic, when you go to that D chord, you can't really play a straight D pentatonic scale because what you have you'll have like a minor third and it's a real solid major third over that chord it's not much to play with over that so you almost have to if you're going to take that d you got to do like a full bend up to the to the mate to the minor third it's the only one on the a because you can play minor over that and over the five 
back to the D. The five's okay to play the E minor. Do a little micro bend, but the D, people, your ear really wants to hear that. Because it just blends really nicely. Resolves. Even though we're not playing the four going back down, which is staying on the five, which is very rock and roll. Now what if we go from uh, to the G shape, A, which is like this. Play in this area right here. So we're still, we're getting away from our normal A shape here, playing the G shape. So you have the different riffs, kind of, you have all your Hendrixy type of riffs, riffs here. Pentatonic shape would be like. It's really like the fifth, not like it is, it's the fifth position pentatonic. Because right here is your pentatonic, right? That's one. It's so going down, it's always going to be five. It's the end. It's one through five. And it's like this. Or you could play your major stuff in there. Focus right now on just the um, on the minor pentatonic scale over the four chord. You can emphasize the note, the root chord of the four, the D. But I'm still gonna really just kind of concentrate on A minor pentatonic here. And over the E, I'm still right in the pentatonic position. The E. I could cheat and I could play a little of the minor th major third. Let's try it out, see what it sounds like. Let's have some fun with it. that so now if we want to get a little bit more in depth when we go to the four chord we could play over this C shape D chord and play all the all the licks that we know over the C shape that we've done already because we've we've done the, the the root over the A so all those licks that we did here kind of like a stuff like that do the same thing over here. Back to the A. It goes to the E. It's the D shape E, which we've done already. So there's only five shapes of this. So you're gonna wind up recycling them and playing all the same licks over them. So you have the E. So I'm picturing this shell 
that goes to the five chord. You know, okay, what kind of licks can I do with this shell? Well, I have stuff like this. My go-to. Here's another third right here. Back to the A. So you got the... I'm always thinking when I'm in this E shape, okay, I, I got to get back to A. How do I, how do I, ugh, can't even talk. How do I want to do that? What cool way can I get back to the A? Well, I'll take this minor third of the E. There's a chromatic right into the A. Or, so let's mess around with this and see what it sounds like in a jam in this position right here. We're having a good time playing some rock and roll here. <laughs> Hopefully you're enjoying this. We got a little bit more. Let's see, we got um, the C, A, G, how about E? We did E already, we started off with E. So we got one more, the D position right here. Playing A chord. If you have any questions about this stuff, please let me know. This is the last one right here, the D. C, A, G, E, D. Before I do that, let's talk real quick for a second about my guitar course that I have. It's called the Essential Skills Collection for Guitar. In it, I go over three important topics. Fretboard memorization, where you learn all of your... It says it right here. I don't even have to say. Fretboard memorization, where you learn how to... Where all the notes are easily all over the neck. I go over the circle of fifths, and that circle shows you all of music, basically. All the chord progressions and everything. And blues soloing which is where all your feel and uh, kind of vibrato, bending strings, all that stuff comes from just playing the blues. And um, so it's really cool. It's where your soul and feel comes from. So check that out. There's a link in the top of the description. Well, not the very top, but scroll down a little bit and you'll find that. And check that out. Thanks. So going back to the last one here, we have the D shape. So here's a D. Take this, bring it all the way up here. 
now we have an A, which we've played already in different positions. We played the, the E chord that way, we played the D chord that way. So we know licks that are in this shape right here. Well, we know, now we're in A, so we know that this lick, is, this is my go-to lick. Or right here, I like to do it. Pentatonic scale right here would be so really that's a C major pentatonic over the A but C major pentatonic and A minor pentatonic are the same exact thing so put on this camera here for a second so over the A you could play this shape the C minor major pentatonic because really it's just the A minor pentatonic. And over the D, I'll just emphasize the D notes if I can. And over the E. So I'm going to play basically just, not basically, I'm going to play A minor pentatonic but in this position, the D shape. So as you can see, each chord shape of the cage system has basically a style or a pattern of the pentatonic that goes along with it. This D shape happens to have this, this um, I guess it would be the second position of the minor pentatonic that goes along with it. I'm going to do licks inside here I wouldn't normally do because of where it is. really cool. Now if I wanted to take this a little bit further, you would take the A shape, I mean the, the D shape, A, when it goes to the four chord, you're going to a, right here, it's not much of a movement with, the, with your hands. You play the, the G shape of the D chord. So now you have those Hendrix licks here. Back to the A. the E, you have the A shape, E chord, back to the A. So you can do kind of looks like a, and it goes to the D.
We went through all five positions. Hopefully, we got a good idea of, uh, of what to do here and have some fun with it. It's really, really a lot of fun. I do recommend just staying in, in one position that's not like, stay in C for a while. Play some minor pentatonic. Go to the A shape. Play the, play the scale there. Go to the G shape. Play some positions there. Go back to the A shape. And go to the D shape. get to know them make them make them your friends <laughs> dude scott who was on your shirt iggy pop or kim gordon probably someone else well i don't know who kim gordon is who's kim gordon but i do know that it's iggy pop there he is he's eating my guitar there he was there he is <laughs> i love this shirt like one of my faves it's kind of crazy, kind of freaky. So, uh, all right. Hopefully you had a good time here today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, Sonic Youth, I got you. Kim Gordon, Sonic Youth. Yeah, kind of looks like her as well. So, I think we went over everything here today. I love Iggy. You love Augie? I love Augie too. And Iggy. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for spending some time here with me today. On episode 148, we're almost at the three-year mark. What would three years be? 52 times three is what? 156. So episode 156 will mark the three years straight, every Sunday for three years. Hard to believe, huh? But that's not for another month away, so another month and a half. We're on 148 right now, and we're not rushing it, so uh, we're happy right here where we are. So... Thank you very much for spending some time here with me today on Monday. Really appreciate it. And any questions about any of the stuff, please let me know in the comments section. Shoot me an email. If you want this backing track that I created for this, just email me, info at Jerry Cherry. I'll shoot it right over to you. Check out the uh, Guitar Course Essential Skills. That's in the link in the description as well. And enjoy the rest of your week. Have an amazing, amazing week. And uh, yeah, send that email, remind me, and I'll send it right over to you right after this. And uh, you get rocking on some rock and roll. And uh, if you want, use it, record yourself with it, send it to me. I'd love to hear how uh, you're utilizing this stuff. And uh, that'd be really fun to check out. And what else was I going to say? That is it. I'll see you next, not next Sunday, but it's going to be probably Monday as, as well. Unless we could do it earlier in the week. I don't know, maybe this week. I'll do it. So, uh all right, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week. I love you. If you want to see another video on something very similar, where I did 50s rock and roll blues guitar, so I'll put it right up there for you. So have a great week. Be cool. Be kind. Be cherry. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys. You rock. Love you. <laughs>